but let's make the long story short we can find the dynamic response of uh, any SDOF equation due to any external input forcing function by simply finding the inverse of the Fourier transformation of the product of the transform X and H in the frequency domain. So now this calculated spectral acceleration value is compared with the target spectral acceleration value and then iterated till we get them comparable. So I hope you got a good insight on how this entire synthetic time history graph is generated from a target response spectrum graph. Now let's work on a STAD model and see how to generate the synthetic time history graph from an existing response spectrum graph. Now open the model rs2th.std. Now this is the same model where I have inserted several nodes. Now go to loading, go to definitions, go to time history. Now in the time history, we know that we have already discussed the different loading types like acceleration force, moment and different function types. Now we haven't discussed this spectrum option. Now this spectrum option is to generate the synthetic time history from our existing response spectrum. Now here we have uh, selected this spectrum option and this is the target response spectrum or we ought to call it the design response spectrum. Now we have defined several um, definitions here like um, three different time points like 4, 9 and 14 to just control the shape of this target response spectrum. Now there are different types of settings to control the iteration and the calculation done by StatPro like number of digitization you want to do where the stat would calculate. Uh, number of iteration so we would keep all of them as default because the default setting provides a very good and decent result and if you go to the input file you can see the commands that has been generated in that format okay let's run the analysis go to the output file now scroll down Now here you can see the detailed calculation done by STAT to convert the required response spectrum to the time history data. Now you can see the time versus acceleration information. Now STAT doesn't illustrate the time history data. So what you can do is you can copy that and paste it in your Excel spreadsheet like this. So I have already copied the time versus acceleration data for one of the axes and, and paste it in a Excel spreadsheet. And in the Excel spreadsheet, uh, it has generated this profile of the time history data. So this is the time history data that we have generated from our target response spectrum.